How's it going today, Embers? It's Tavari, aka Flare Unique, and today I'm going to be giving you a review on the Resident Evil 8 trailer from a fan in under five minutes. So since time is ticking, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's start by mentioning that Ethan is coming back as the main character of Resident Evil 8 and he was not a very interesting protagonist for Resident Evil 7. However, I believe that he was supposed to be more of a representation of the player's experience through all the events of Resident Evil 7 rather than Ethan being the driving force of his own story as we would see in one of the third person titles. With Jill, Leon, Chris, Claire and the other main characters of their respective titles, they were meant to steal the show. In a first person perspective, Ethan was more of a stand in for us, for us to experience everything through him. So I don't feel like there will be much personality added into Ethan's story or Ethan as a character, but rather that the game will engage us in a deeper way and bring out more personal reactions, uh, whether it be fear, um, anxiety, stress, whatever the case may be. I'm sure that I speak for many fans when I say that this game trailer didn't feel like something of a Resident Evil title. However, I don't think that that will be a bad thing. I didn't get hyped up about the trailer because it is, it's a feeling that's so far strayed from what we're used to in a Resident Evil title. Our first glimpse at an enemy in this game is a, is a, possibly a werewolf? I don't know what that was. The atmosphere is somewhat familiar, but it seemingly feels set back in time. What with the old timey dress up and the possible witches and vampires being present, I'm just getting a feel that is set pretty far back. But even as I pull my thoughts together, I can't help but feel that this is the goal, that this was the idea. We're meant to feel that there's a new mystery in the world of Resident Evil. And Capcom might feel that we've just become too comfortable with zombies and they want to extend this and feel that they need to introduce something new into the series to further revive the series and the collective interest of Resident Evil. Now I could be wrong, but the voice in the beginning of the trailer sounded like it could be that of Mia. If that's the case, then she most likely has another starring role in Resident Evil 8. And if so, well, you know, minus the end of the trailer, which we'll get back to that. But if so, perhaps her dealings in Resident Evil 7 will tie in with Resident Evil 8, further involving her into more experiments or running back to the origin of uh, something that's connected to Eve. But I'm just speculating here because all of this mystery, like I said, is back in play. At the end of the trailer, we see a familiar face and thank God they made Chris look like his original model again because this guy has had way too many makeovers. At this point, we are just slapping the name Chris Redfield on multiple stand-ins throughout the series because he he changes in appearance so often. But it may be more than looks that have changed this time because we see Chris unload his firearm into what may or may not be Mia, and Ethan reacts in absolute confusion. This hints that Chris may not be the good guy that we've always known him as, but then again, he might have had a good reason for doing whatever he did. So once again, we're just speculating at this point. We can't say anything, but it's a possibility that Chris could actually be playing for the wrong team this time. Though, I can't really see that being the case. Chris is way too experienced and been through way too much, so I feel like he had a good reason for doing whatever he did. I don't feel too much for Ethan anyhow. To bundle my thoughts and feelings on this trailer, I have to say I'm, I'm confused. But I am looking forward to seeing what's next in the Resident Evil universe. To be honest, I was a skeptic of Resident Evil Resistance when that came out, but I love that game mode now, so whatever you guys are doing, Capcom, keep it coming, but please do get more support for Resident Evil Resistance. We're really dying on PC. So that will wrap up my Resident Evil 8 trailer review in under five minutes. If you guys like the content, please leave me a big thumbs up and for more game related videos and reaction content, consider giving that subscribe button a jab. As always, stay safe, be bright, and I will see you guys in the next video.